Howard Cern, Blast, Share, Artie Lang Update, blah, blah, blah. Hello and welcome. Let me get to the comments right away. DW asks, Brad, any update on your Gay Rich interview? Nothing yet, but I will let you know, DW, and I know that you'll be waiting on pins and needles. Thank you for joining. Neil, Neil Walmsley, hi, how are you? How is Stern dealing with the Harris loss? You know I haven't listened to Stern. Uh, I don't listen to the show. So I go and I see what people are saying and I read. But um, I don't think he's doing well. But he hasn't really talked about it either from what I what I read. That's what I see. Love the Stern portraits. Yeah, go ahead in there and uh, purchase the uh, products in the product pages. There's some good, good, good stuff. If you're looking for some uh, holiday, some Christmas ideas for your loved one, go in there and uh, make sure you get that for your loved one. And uh, hi, this show sucks. Hi, thanks, Tempest. Welcome in. I don't, uh, I don't discriminate against anybody who comes in and says hello. By the way, we got the Shane Conlon jersey going here today. We're going to talk about some birthdays. Uh, we'll talk about uh, what I put in the chat to start. I do have a guest coming uh, tomorrow, possibly. So uh, we'll uh, hopefully have that person come on and do the, some of the part of the uh, this, this thing live too. Uh, King Doopy, Netflix. I meant tell Sparky. I said hello, Sparky. Sparky, he's uh, just enjoying life upstairs, so I'll let him know that you said hello, but thank you for that. And um, uh, Neil, he turned, there's Sparky, see? On cue, Sparky's barking. Um, what was I, what were we talking about here, guys? This is crazy, my, uh, my phone will not open up and uh, do the stuff that it does, because I have the glasses on. Um, well, I had some stuff to talk about, but I'm just looking at the uh, comments here. So yeah, I had, and it was all worked up because my, my stuff doesn't work here, but I do have those product pins. So I set this up in studio and, um, it's different on the uh, desktop side. Brad, do you listen to Camo X in the off season? No, I don't. Um, you know, I used to love the Dave Glover show on Camo X, St. Louis, uh, St. Louis, uh, great radio morning or afternoon program show. Um, but now I don't listen to it and I have my reasons why, and I'm not going to mention them right here, but I don't. Thanks for asking. I love the Riz show. You guys listen to the Riz show, St. Louisans. So yeah, this is, uh, I want to talk about some, uh, NFL, um, NFL, uh, teasers for you to, to play on. We're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to answer your questions. We're going to talk about, I do have a guest, by the way, check out my description. I have a new channel that I've launched. Um, and it's just, you know, for some uh, fitness tips. Yeah. You, you want to figure out a, a, how to eat better, how to how to make yourself lose weight? I need to follow these tips, and I'm going to go there, too. Finally, Fit for Life. You can check out the description. So, um, And sometimes, you know what? I get really mad at myself. I'll go back and watch this every once in a while because I'm entertained by myself. I got to be honest. And I miss some of the uh, the comments. So please comment because that's what this is about i come on here and i say hello i'm wearing my shane conlin jersey this is from 1995 the rams they show up in st louis did they start four no they didn't start four no that year did they did they start four no in 1995 they might have well i'm gonna have to look this up now because i remember they beat the green bay packers in their first game ever as this, they were four no yeah yeah wow the uh, they beat the Packers in Green Bay. Came home, beat New Orleans in their first game uh, at Bush Stadium, their first ever game in St. Louis. Come on, Wikipedia! I am not going. I'm not purchasing anything here. Then they went to Carolina and won, and then they beat the Chicago Bears, thirty-four twenty-eight. They went five and one. They beat the Falcons at home. They lost to the Colts by three. What a fun year! Anybody remember those ninety-five St. Louis Rams? Huh? How do they? What did they do after that? Oh, they lost 44 to 10 to the 49ers. They lost 20 to 9 at the Eagles. They lost to the Saints. And it was all over. They won their first game at the Trans World Dome. I drove by the Dome today, by the way, the St. Louis Dome that the great the greatest show on turf used to be. Doesn't look so great. I got to say. So, be here uh was it tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to try to go live again with a guest for a little bit and um, the guest will be able to uh you'll be able to ask questions of the guest. Hi, DW. Brad, it was strange to have both your baseball and football teams named the Cardinals. It was very strange. We had, we called the football team the Big Red. Uh, lots of times we called them the Big Dead. That team went to the playoffs, I think, three times in my dad's lifetime. I, when did I, when did I, 
I never saw him play in a playoff game. Is that right? I don't think I ever saw the Rams play in a, in a playoff game. I think that's true. Um, let's look at the birthdays. You know, the birthdays always bring us stuff to talk about. Oh, first of all, big news on the Stern Show. Oh, wait, people are leaving. People aren't happy. People don't want to be here today. It's fine. It's later. I should, probably shouldn't have gone on late. I just tried to see who wanted to be here and see what's going on. You never know when a super chat might pop in or something like that. So um, that's why I did that. Um, Tom Tupa. Oh, my goodness. I love Tom Tupa. Now, he was a Cardinal. I don't believe he was a Ram. Um, who did we not see? Now, this is where I go to the thing. We had a guy like Tom Tupa. I, my favorite football Cardinal was Robert Awalt. You guys remember Robert Awalt? Let's get an up, already update already, dude. Already update. I uh, don't have one. Uh, so, so what we do here is we like to let Neil Lomax was terrible. Number 15. My dad used to call him Neil fucking Lomax. You, you knew that the Cardinals or the big red were playing. If you just heard my dad in the basement. Fuck. Uh, Played for the Cowboys, Robert Awald. Yes, he went and played for a good team. Tom Tupa. When was he with the Cardinals? This is what we do. This is what we do. I know some people hate it. You know what? Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me one bit. Tom Tupa was was with the Phoenix Cardinals, 88 to 91. So I never saw him as a player. You do a great impression of your dad. How do you know my dad? Who are you? I wish you'd quit testing us with the Artie Lang update. Testing? Probably meant teasing. Uh, I'm going to get you one sooner or later, I promise. But a lot of times I put that in there just to see if people have one. Tupa was a punter. I do remember Tom Tupa. Well, did you guys hear the Cher interview today? I didn't. But what I did see was that there was a point where Cher evidently was kind of pun punching back at Howard. And at one point said, well, I thought, you, uh, I thought this was going to be on Zoom. And Howard said, I never do these things on Zoom. And uh, Cher's like, that's all you do. And evidently, they edited it out of the uh, broadcast today. So that was interesting. I'll continue uh, teasing. Sorry. Um, reading the comments. So did you guys hear that? Did anybody? I don't know. Listen, I can listen to Cher interview. Um, that was that. We have birthdays today. My mom's birthday. Cindy, did you know that? Did you know it was my mom's birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy Happy heavenly birthday. You know, last show, I did some uh, impressions of people that had died. Uh, people seem to enjoy those. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but today, uh, if if this person was born in 1932, this guy, this guy was born in 1930. Richard Dawson. He never made me laugh. He's kind of creepy, right? Richard Dawson, host of Family Feud. His birthday is today. He died in 2012. I didn't realize that. Dick Smothers. Dick Smothers is still alive. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I, uh, uh, my dad had some, uh, some other brothers albums and I was like, these are okay. I don't know if they hold anymore. Hi, hook em. Hi there. Hook em. DW, Brad, what year were you born? 82. Okay. I was born in between 75 and 82. So I don't remember that. Are you sure the Cardinals made the playoffs in 82? Or are you talking about, I don't believe the big red made the playoffs in 82. I'm pretty sure that 75 was the last year they went to the playoffs. Was 82 a strike year? Dick Smothers. Dr. John. I was in the right place. It was the wrong time. That's his birthday. Oh, he died too in 2019. The Packers in 82. Wow. You'd think I would know that. I was a kid. I was I was very young. Bob Einstein's birthday. Rest in peace, Super Dave Osborne. I love Super Dave. There's a great documentary on HBO Max on that guy. Haven't listened to the Stern Show since 2015. I haven't listened since 2000. Actually, I listened a little bit. I'd, I'd get the uh, little free subscription. And then I'd come here and sort of report back to the folks, like, what's going on? And I got bored with it. I mean, the show's so bad. I can't listen to it. It just makes me interested. Like, why do people go to Reddit and complain about the show so much? Why do you listen if you hate it so much? What is wrong with me? It's not that... See, back in the day, it was like, what was that that thing they said on the uh, private parts? People who like them listen two hours and 27 minutes a day. Okay, well, what about the people that hate them? Good point. They listen to four hours and 52 minutes a day. I want to see what he says next. But now, what did, what do they, does he say anything? 
I don't have an already laying update. So if anybody in the chat has one, and I do have some guests, I have a guest tomorrow, and maybe uh, he's a former Stern Show employee, so he might be able to uh, be able to get there. Same people, Super Chat John Melendez. Same reason, people. How is John Melendez doing? I hear not so well. I hear stuttering John is not doing so well. And I don't, I don't, I don't hang in the dabble verse. It is not gay rich tomorrow. I will try and reach out to get for UDW. I will try to get him and I will talk about Fred's bachelor party and how he almost turned Fred gay right there at Fred's own bachelor party. And that's funny that you're really into having gay rich on. He, he wasn't a big part of the show, but I thought he'd be uh, interesting. I don't even know if I have his correct email, but we'll try but yes, I will have a stern guest on, and I'm going to try to have him uh, right here on live. I'm going to do my own little interview first, and then we'll let the uh, we'll let the uh, chatters get in here, and maybe maybe he'll come on. Norman Grebon's birthday is today. He's still alive. Spirit in the sky is that leads the song by uh, by Norman Greenbaum. Norman Greenbaum, sorry, it's Spirit in the Sky. One of the uh, songs the Losers did, and um, I thought that was one of the better ones. I got it the base. I got it the base. I got it the base. Hey, it was against Corey Feldman. Did you guys read the Corey Feldman story that was in, uh, I think it was Rolling Stone? It's pretty good. Ah, uh, he says he's in on the joke. I still don't believe that. I really don't. You sent me Gay Rich contact info on Monday, DW. Where did you send it? Send it to here's the pitch. Is that my email? Here's the pitch with Brad. I don't even know my email anymore. Let me look at gmail.com. Let me see what my email is. I don't mind if you guys go ahead and dox in there. Is it doxing? Is that correct? Is that what it's called? My email is here's the pitch with Brad at gmail.com. So if you want to get something to me there, I didn't see it in my email. So DW, why don't you send it right there? John needs to sober up, but his attitude is rotten and mean. Well, I mean he's had a hard life, right? Good song, says Landrew, 1980. Reach out to Stuttering John and get him on. Stuttering John's been on before. Uh, it was before he took this downturn that he's having. When am I interviewing Artie? I know. That is the question, and I hope to do it. Go Rams. Fuck the Rams. I hate the Rams, although I'm wearing this jersey. I'm going to talk about a teaser in a little bit. If you guys like that, uh, if you like that, uh, you like that, uh, putting a little money on and have a little, little taste during the Sunday. It's here's the pitch featured on Oleo Records. Hee <laughs> hee! Donut. Hot dogs and donuts. And here's the pitch. I love Jackie. I'm going to have Jackie on again. Jackie, uh, he's been on four times. Jackie the Joke Man. We're tight. I love Jackie. Joe Walsh, born in 1947. Well, happy birthday. Joe Walsh, born on the same day as my mom. Ah, and he's still alive. That old fuck is still hanging in there doing, you know, an ordinary average guy. I like that song. Uh, it did not sign the Declaration of Independence. R.I.P. Eric the Midget. F. Jackie. F. Timmy. Thank you. Thank you, Bio Zio. I love these names. I love where you guys come up with these names. Uh, Joe Walsh, he's been on the show, right? He, he's a big, doesn't he go in? What would you ask Jackie the Joke Man if you could have another interview? I've interviewed him. I've asked him everything I could possibly think of. Um, so if you have a question for Jackie, let's let's do it. Joe Walsh is Ringo's brother-in-law. Didn't I don't think I knew that. I I did not know that. That's weird, wild, wacky stuff. Uh, I heard an interview with Chris Myers. You guys know Chris Myers? Fox Sports has been on. Many years on uh, ESPN and Fox Sports. He said he created Did You Know on ESPN at the end of the show because he was a big fan of Johnny Carson. I don't even think he knows that Dana Carvey created. I, I did not know that. But maybe he did. I don't know. Hi, Andrew. Hi, all. Had an issue at the shop. Over on uh, as well. Thank you for coming in, uh, Lance. Hello, Long Dong. Are you actually? I was telling my wife, my wife and I were thinking back about Howard Stern moments, and I was I was mentioning. Um, I'm fairly certain the night Scott, the engineer, had accepted that he was going to have uh, backside fun. My wife told me she was listening the same. We weren't together at this time, but uh, I, I couldn't leave the car. What do you think about Howard's interview with Kamala? Kamala? F. Murray Abraham, too. Sorry, I want to make sure I get all of these things. I'd ask him a rhetorical question. Was it worth le le leaving Stern? He won't answer that. Um, what questions was I, was I going to answer? Oh, I didn't think the interview with Kamala was good at all. That was boring as F. I didn't see all of it. Let's start with that. I have not seen it. I just saw the clips on YouTube. Did nothing for me. I think it hurt her. I, I think that's why she did not get elected. Today's birthday, J.D. Drew, former Cardinal, born in 1975. J.D. Drew was a, just a down-home boy. You know who gave him a ton of shit was Will Clark. 
How about the 2000 Cardinals? They had Will Clark. They had Eric Davis. They had Shawan Dunstan. I mean, as a kid, these are all the guys I hated. Eric Davis with the Reds, Shawan Dunstan, a Cub, Will Clark with the Giants, and the Cardinals had all them sons of bitches. Played pretty good baseball, too. It's good to go. Get Jared as a guest. He still works at Sirius. I think I've reached out to Jared, and uh, he is not going to do this because he still works in the building. It's serious. He's kind of a VP kind of guy. But that was a, a great a great episode when those two were kind of uh, fighting each other and tied at the hip. Tommy Hurt. What do you want to talk about with Tommy Hurt? I love Tommy Hurt. Brad. You need to interview the STL gal that went out with Artie. I don't think she's still alive, right? I mean, wasn't she the one that busted up his nose? I'm guessing she was a, a, a traveling woman. I don't know if she was from here. I think they met here. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the story. That's where Artie messed up his nose, right? Like he did all the – started snorting and got kind of snorting some, some glass. Yee. But, yeah, if we could find her – I love when the Stern Show would find, like, girls, then they'd bring them in. They tell stories. No, she was a contest winner from St. Louis. All right, well, we'll take a look. That's all my notes. Holy cow! Let me. Uh, I have more notes. I'm always prepared. You know, as a as a long time television producer, I'm always prepared. I've got I've got topics. I've got topics. By the way, I mentioned check out my other channel. Finally, fit for life. It's in the description. All you have to do is just go into the description, click subscribe, and you'll get stuff all the time. Uh, every day, trying to put daily stuff out there. How to do good push-ups. You know, I never could do a good push-up. Well, I've, I've, I've created a video. You can see me doing push-ups. You want to see that? Take a look. Finally fit for life. Uh, sh 18 people and three likes. If Eric the Midget was here, he'd call us all worthless sex. <laughs> 0.0. I have more than 0.0. .0. We had, uh, you know, what did we have? Over, we had, well, we had 80 live concurrent views last time. Can you weld two pieces of metal together, Dr. Snorkel asks. I don't. I can't. I can't do anything. My wife's up there cock in the basement right now. Cock. <laughs> we love saying cock. I'm giving her cock for the basement. For the basement. For the bathroom. Uh, I don't know. Joe, I didn't know Joe Morgan died. Of course, Pete Rose, but I was a little shocked. You know what's funny about the uh, Joe Morgan thing? I was watching a... This is where I'm at in life. I was watching the 1983 World Series. There's Joe Morgan playing second base. Tony Perez and Pete Rose. I didn't realize Joe Morgan was on that team. I also didn't realize Joe Morgan played for the Red Sox or A's. Is that his last team? Tony Perez played for the Red Sox. Anyway, got to get back here. Tupa, Patriots player. I remember that. Thank you, Landro. Landrew. Thank you for subbing. I just watched the Dumb as a Rock episode. Still one of the best. Back in the day, they were funny. I was telling my wife, too. And I talk about her a lot. She used to come on the show. I don't think she wants to. Um... Yeah, the products are still, I see those things kind of popping out there. Buy the products. It's good Christmas presents. Um, yeah, I didn't really care about the stripper interviews. It was like, it's radio. It's, it's, I didn't care. There, I mean, there was the one that when they're not bright and they did games, I thought it was fun. You look like a welder. Thank you very much. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Brad, were you at the Artie Lang book signing in St. Louis? No, I don't know if he, did he do a book signing here? I've seen him live. By the way, that was a thing on Reddit. I like to I like to dabble in the Reddit verse. I don't dabble in dabble verse, but I do look at Reddit. And people were saying that uh, you know Artie wasn't uh, stand up stuff. It's not great. I agree. I I saw. Did I see him three times? Maybe twice. Anyway, we hung out a few times. I saw him. He came in. It was here right after the uh, HBO thing, and we went backstage with him before the show. Before he went out to do stand up, and um, he his eyes were kind of glossy, a little glossy. And it's like right before you go out to do your stuff, I thought we would meet him after, but they brought us in before. He was super nice. Um, but yeah, then we watched his stand up, and I never found him funny. That's my Phillies wheezy kids. Yes, Joe ended up on the A's. All right, Lander, who's high pitch? This is Kelly Clarkson. What, I did put a question in the chat before we started about a Fred drop. Oh, shit. Long time no see, says Alcy. Hi. Favorite Stern Show fight. I love the Stuttering John uh, Robin fight. Uh, when Stuttering John um, decided he, he wanted to be with Heineken. Uh, it was like a 4th of July trip and then backed out with like two weeks before the trip. 
And so Robin volunteered to do it. And then John was making fun of her for having to go on this Heineken trip. But she, she let him, she let him have it. And she wasn't wearing makeup. So she looked really crazy. I liked stuttering John and Robin fights. I liked any time Robin was fighting with anybody. I like when Robin decided she wasn't going to do the news. I'm not doing the news. I'm not speaking. Or she just wouldn't speak. Uh, I remember seeing Mark McGuire playing against the Expos live in 98. Yeah, Big Earn. We love Mark McGuire here. Uh, thank you, LC. Yeah, that was my favorite Stern fight. Uh, well, there's so many. I mean, the Artie, when Artie and Howard went at it, don't bro me. I'm not your bro. Only Artie could fight with Howard and stay. And uh, he did. Let's see. What else? What other good fights? I liked. I mean, I didn't watch this one live, but I have been interested in the uh, Gary, the Baba Booey. Well, anytime Baba Booey fought with Howard, it's funny. But when he wouldn't come in during the hurricane because he was going to protect the house. That's funny. That was that was still funny. The one with Howard goes off on Ronnie and Scott is. Okay, well, then how about Scott yelling at Ganji? I mean, I still walk around the house. No freaking way, Ganji. I would have never let you come if I knew you were going to use the tape. That's my stuttering, or that's my Scott the Engineer impression. That's first, first for everything. Uh, so I talked about some college football. This week, if I were you, do you guys do you guys dabble in that? Anything involving John, Johnny Frado, Artie and Dan fight was, oh yeah, Artie fought with everybody. Uh, Artie Teddy fight was great. Artie Sal Richard fight was great. Uh, AJ Benzova starting John. That was good. Man, they had a lot of fights. Jackie, where were you this, this weekend? The Cardoza Hotel. Did you mention my name? Did you? No, oh, I got a discount. Just they, they said they would give me a discount. I did like the Cardoza Hotel one. Where is my... All right, so if I were to tease... Did I not tease this correctly? All right, if I was teasing... I would tease. If you guys into the college in the NFL, you guys want to talk football for a second? Jackie and Hollywood Squares. I, should I give these out? These are not. These I shouldn't give out free picks. Should I be? You should be buying these picks for me. Well, maybe we'll do this. We'll see if this wins. If it wins, but I tease my line ten. Uh, for a friend of mine is does doing this. He sends them to me all the time. He's like, hey, guess what I'm doing? And uh, he's teasing the line ten points. We'll talk about that later. Ralph and Baba Booey fights were always hilarious. Shuley versus Doug, yeah. Is that Leonard Little? No, this is uh, this is uh, this is Shane Conlon from 19, uh, 1995. Shane Conlon, see, this is my dad's favorite player. I don't know why we got him a Shane Conlon jersey. I think Leonard Little was number fifty-seven and then number ninety-one. I think that was. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. That. Can I say that? That was the speed limit. Uh, I never heard the Shuley and Doug, Doug one. I, I know about it, but uh, baby close. People like that one. People are enjoying that one, folks. Oh, by the way, I've got members only videos coming too. So uh, I have some members out there. Appreciate that. Um, you can sign up in the description as well. So do that. Do you still root for the Rams? No, not, not one bit. Can't stand them. I don't hate them as much as I used to. Well, there was about three or four years there where I couldn't watch them. And I was so pissed they went to the Super they just did what they, you watch Major League. It's the same story. They came here. I mean, we did steal them back. We stole them from LA. Whatever. LA didn't want them. They still don't want them. You watch a 49er Rams game and there's fucking 80,000 49er fans there. But then they did the whole Major League thing where the owner literally, you know, instead of it being a hot blonde, it's fucking cronky. He's like, I want to finish dead, dead last and then move. Uh, unfortunately, Major League was a movie. The team actually wins, and they stay in Cleveland. Here, I heard a story that they're trying to move, like in 2002. Like I didn't even realize it was that. But, uh, yeah. Hey, Richard, we're we're a lot. Hello, Richard. This is your dad. I can I play? You know, just something I've been wanting to play for a while. Um, just because I like meltdowns. I think we talked about fights. I like this meltdown though, and I just don't think we get to uh, we don't get to hear it enough. But it, I've always wondered: is this the best meltdown of all? There's two. I have two that I enjoy. Um, and that is it for us today. Whoa! We need the actual. 
That's tomorrow. And that is it for us today. Okay, I don't know why. Just read it, Bill. Whatever it is, it's not right on a teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. I know you haven't seen it because you have the IQ of a turtle. Oh, we have story. a funny guy. Just read it. Yeah, we I have can't... a funny guy. Bill O'Reilly meltdown. Do it alive. Original. See, everybody's here. It is okay. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. Okay, I don't know why. It, whatever it is, it's not right on a teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. No, there is. We are going to do a sting, yeah. Okay, but... Okay. It's now. I can't read it. There's no There's no words on it. Okay. Right? Sure. Okay. There's no words there to play us out. Five, what does that mean? To four, play us out. three... It's, it's sting is going to do... It's a video. Sting video. What is for credits? I don't know what that means, to play us out. What does that mean? To end the show? Yeah. All right, go, go, go. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is that. Again. Five, oh, boy. Four, Here we go. He's going to lose it. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can... I'll write it, and we'll do it live. Oh, God, that was fun. Whoops. Five, four. <laughs> I've been that guy. Just five, four. Oh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite uh, meltdown? Anybody have one? I'm looking. Uh, talk to you later, bub. I'm looking back at the comments here. We'll do it live. God, I love that one. That one is uh, my second favorite. All right, I've been wanting to do this, but this is my favorite of all time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, everybody. I'll be there in a second. We're having fun today. Okay, this is my favorite. The countdown will begin this Sunday afternoon at 1, right here on the radio station you grew up with, Music Radio 138. Oh, fuck. What the hell's going on here? Oh, he's well, isn't it the last hour? We got another hour to do? She said, I thought we were almost finished. Good. Golly, Miss Molly. What is this fucking ponderous, man? Ponderous, fucking ponderous. Hi, this is Casey Kasem. American Top 40 has moved to a new time. I hope you'll join me this Saturday morning and every Saturday morning at 2. 2? Now, we're up to our long-distance dedication. And this one is about kids and pets and a situation that we can all understand. Whether we have kids, kids or pets, or pets or it's from a man in Cincinnati, Ohio. And here's what he writes. Dear Casey, this may seem to be a strange dedication request, but I'm quite sincere, and it'll mean a lot if you play it. Recently, there was a death in our family. He was a little dog named Snuggles, but he was most certainly a part of the again. From the record? I'm coming out of the record. Play the record, okay? Can you still use up-tempo numbers? Please. See, when you come out of those up-tempo goddamn numbers, man, it's impossible to make those transitions. And then you got to go into somebody dying. You know, they do this to me all the time. I don't know what the hell they do it for. But goddamn it, if we can't come out of a slow record, I don't understand it. Is that on the phone? Okay, I want a goddamn concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a fucking up-tempo record every time I do a goddamn dip dedication. Where are the pictures I was supposed to see? And I also want to know what happened to the pictures I was supposed to see this, this week. This is the last time. This is a god last goddamn time I watched somebody, somebody use a fucking brain to not come out of a goddamn record that is, uh, that, that's up-tempo, and I got to talk about a fucking dog dying. Oh, Casey. Aye. This is Casey Kasem. I love that one. Um, all right, we had a request. Let's see if I can find it. Da, 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 da. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay out there? Okay. One report from the Interfax News Agency says witnesses saw an explosion just before one of the crashes. Both planes were tipple off TU-154 jets. That's a standard airliner on domestic flights in Russia. The first crash happened in Bukhaki, uh, about 110 miles south of Moscow. <laughs> I love it. All right, that was uh, that was that. I enjoy. I like those. 
I like those a lot. You don't need this? Okay. What What do you want, Lanny? Tell me what you like. I'm getting ready to. I'm ready to. Go, I'm getting ready to eat. I'm hungry. I've run out of material once again. I appreciate everybody coming in again. As always, if you want, uh, I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Uh, we have a guest coming on tomorrow. He's gonna do an interview with me first, I believe, and then we'll try to bring him on live and see if you want to ask him some questions. Former Stern employee worked in the building, worked on the show. Lots of uh, talk with him. Have I interviewed Captain Jenks. Captain Jenks has said no. He does not want to be part of the show. Well, he didn't say he wanted to be. He's just like, I'm not doing interviews. Let's talk Stern Show meltdowns. Okay, let's go, Lanny. I'm in there. I, I can't play. I don't know if I can play Stern clips. Can I play Stern clips? Did the Dodgers just sign Soto? Is that for real? Let me look this up. Let's look this up. I'm going to the Twitterverse. Dooby dooby doo. Da. No, I'm not seeing that. Not seeing that. Don't start with me. Would Bigfoot come on? Big Iron? I think, but yes, I will. Do you guys want Bigfoot on? Do you really want Bigfoot? What would I ask him? Give me some questions and I'll get. Do you want Bigfoot on live? Can I do him? Captain Jenks, by the way, uh, I did talk to, and he was very nice, uh, but was not uh, interested in. Uh... Hey there, DW. All right, you send me an email. Here's the pitch with Brad at gmail.com. Casey's daughter. Yeah, I, there's a great crazy. How do you get around? I would love to have. I cannot find crazy house. How do you get a hold of her? Anybody know how to get a hold of her? Here's the pitch with Brad at gmail.com. Let me know how you get a hold of her. I'd love to. Um, <laughs> hard to get a hold of Bigfoot it is. What would you ask Bigfoot? What should I ask him? I know, I mean, did he not burn down a building? Was it was possible? Crazy Alice is dead? Is that true? I thought you were leaving DW, by the way. Whoa! Um, just checking back in to, to take a look at the description for all the other uh, items, my other channel. The memberships, man, there's still people coming in. They're coming in because wearing a, I'm wearing a Rams jersey and I was going to talk football and I didn't even get to that. This is what happens. You just go live. I've been on here 35 minutes and we just, we're just bullshit. I'm looking at all the things here. Christian Bale. Oh, 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 okay. Can I play one more? I have three favorite ones. And if, if you just humor me for one second, please, I can't remember her name. Uh, I do remember her name. Hold on. This one, no, no, it's this one. Leave me the fuck alone. Do you know what the fuck is going on, period? Fuck you. I've had it up to here. Get the fucking thing together. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. What, for God's sake. Oh, I love it. I'll just have her on the background. Lily Tom fuck you, motherfucker. Jeez. Okay. This is when Sal and Richard were great when they used these as their their prank calls. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Get the fucking thing together. Fuck you. Lily Domlin losing her. Losing her. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. You told her to do it in half, says Dustin Hoffman. That's why we spent five and five or six fucking hours doing something else. No! God damn it! You fucked it up! God damn you! Now get straight out and help! If you can't, if you can't help them, help me! Oh, Lily Tomlin, these are great. Okay, <laughs> poor Dustin Hoffman just sitting. She has two, by the way. She has two of them. Mel Gibson, uh, play Joan Rivers talking about. I didn't know if that happened. Hearing Artie laugh. <laughs> yes. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. I appreciate it again. Might be here tomorrow live, so just make sure. Uh, I'm going to have a pizza. Thank you for asking, D-Dub. Uh, probably around this time. So uh, if you do like this or you don't, and you come here just a bitch, I like that too. Uh, set that notification so you see when I go live. I always set the live thing up about two, three hours ahead of time so I know. Uh, so you know that I'm coming here. But I appreciate you coming. Again, hopefully we'll have a guest supposed to be here today i had some problems blah 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 a little st louis style pizza of course uh, lucia's i believe it's going to be tonight <gasps> Ooh, lucia's dw from st louis sounds like you, you got that uh you got that some butter cake for the no but gooey butter cake gooey butter cake that's a st louis staple of course all right thank you everybody thank you richard uh chilino good to see you lanny you're always welcome uh lance cindy who else we got in here we had a good good group of people so bye for now.